Hey guys, it's me Charlie. Today is March 6, 2013 and today I received my Red Daphne that I got in the mail from eBay. And I am extremely happy with them for a couple of reasons. One reason is because the Red Daphne is a little bit more hardier from what I understand. They can withstand colder temperatures or even hotter temperatures. And the great thing about Daphne, it's a fresh water product that you can keep inside of a bucket, like a five gallon bucket that you've sat out in your front lawn in front of the sun just to turn green. That green water is what feeds these little guys as soon as you get them or you buy them or ordering, order them in the mail. Now the other good thing about the red Daphne, it's red so you know the fish can see them much more better. It's a little bit more attractive and the other great thing is I don't have to keep on hatching out brine shrimp. But if you look closely you'll notice that the bigger red, red ones are all the adults and they are all pregnant and all of those females every seven days will push out babies and when I got these guys there was about 700 of them um, I mainly had adults and a few little babies in the bag because I inspected the bag but all of a sudden it's been like five hours now they have exploded I don't know if you guys can see it but look at the little teeny tiny babies let me see look at that they just gave birth each female and exploded more and more babies so I have thousands and thousands of these little guys and they're inside of this little 1.2 or 2 I think it's a 2.2 gallon it's like a little octagon aquarium and it's got green water already built up in here but I'm really happy with this because I decided that I'm a little bit tired of hatching out the brine shrimp which I actually have here you can see that it's red I'm gonna harvest all that and feed it to my newborn oxalata babies I have lots of goldens and some other colors in here and albino so I actually have some fresh water Daphne in there and I tried harvesting out the smallest I could even though I see a few bigger ones in there but they're gonna eat them all and then the ones that I hatched myself I have some in here and these guys are eating there we go there's some Daphne right there and then today I have noticed that my female oxalato laid eggs again <laughs> she is always laying eggs so I have a lot in here. Now the one thing that I'm not too excited about is that I actually have them inside with the gravel. Um, I kind of regret it but it's too late now so it doesn't really matter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take some of these out, a little fish net full, and I'm going to put it into my, um, I have like a miniature, I guess you can say miniature pond, but really what it is it's a red planter that I have on my front yard and it's got green water in it. And I'm going to go ahead and take a scoop of this and put it out there because the temperature outside is nice and warm. That way I can have gazillions of these little guys so I can have endless supply of Daphnia. Now, um, I did get a great deal for the Daphnia and eventually later on when I have too much I will be selling some of this. And I'll ship anywhere in the United States and I'll do a two to three day priority mail. And um, so right now at this time I just got this. I'm not selling any of it. I want to try it out my first for myself. And um, I might, you might see a video later of me saying I have some available. And um, these guys, they breed extremely fast. From what I understand, it's every seven days. So I think that's great. So I don't know if you guys can see. Look at them. These are called also in Florida, they call them water fleas. And they are eating the green algae that's in the water. Some people even keep them as pets. Not me, I'm keeping it for food. Um, when you're keeping this, if you have a light source, they will actually go to the top. And all the babies will be on top. There'll be a lot of little babies. Oh, it's hard to see. There'll be a lot of little babies in there. They don't like fast current water, so you actually just want still water. Um, every once in a while, it's nice to turn on the air bubbler. To give a little oxygen in the water but um, maybe for just an hour but they prefer just settled water and um, what else if you google what to feed them if you find yourself that you have run out of green water um, you can make your own green water you can possibly put a bottle of water dechlorinated and put it like a two liter pot bottle right in your window seal and create your own green water 
because the water will turn green from the algae. So I think that's another good idea. So that's it. I just wanted to share with you guys. Oh, I'm also feeding a uh, baby oxalato that I've been growing. I have a couple of these little guys. Here's one of them. And of course, you guys already know about these right here. I'm going to take out some of them that are getting bigger. And of course, I got my little babies that I ordered. These as eggs. But if you got any questions, comments, please leave them below. Um, rate the video if you'd like. And also, don't forget to subscribe for some more upcoming videos. So I'll see you guys on the next video, and thanks for watching. That little noise in the background is my um my fish tank filter. I just took the light from... These guys love eating Daphnia, too. I'll put them in here.